Today, I will talk briefly about the essential fluorescent light starter, which usually comes in this plastic package with two connectors on the bottom. Without it, you can't turn on your fluorescent light. And so it looks very simple from the outside. And here I have them open. And you can see inside you have the um, glass made vacuum. And inside there are two con connectors, I mean, two pieces that when the electric current runs through them, makes contact, you can't really see it here because this one has been burned out, but there is a piece of metal that when the electrical current runs through it, touches the other side and creates a closed circuit and turns on the light. And then it retracts when the fluorescent light has been turned on. So once you turn it on, it slowly touches it and then goes back. And here is just a um, condenser for uh, filtering the uh, electricity a little bit and to prevent interference. And it's a very simple device. And this thing usually costs about a dollar, two dollars at most. And they come in different ratings. For example, this is a Philips S10, which is a single bulb starter. That means you can drive the, um, the rated fluorescent bulb, but not in series. So you have to pay attention because take a look at this example. And these bulbs are wired in series and they're not used to so often these days. But you need to pay attention you need to find out if your fluorescent bulbs are single or in series. Because, for example, this one is um, made for series. And if you replace it with a starter that's made for a single bulb, that wouldn't work. And you would think it's defective, but in reality, it's just the wrong starter. So that's why I'm telling you, once the light has been turned on, you can actually even remove this. Because this... It's this open circuit once the light has been turned on, but it needs to be a closed circuit in order to power on the uh, fluorescent bulb. So anyway, um, here, put it back. Um, so take a look at these fluorescent light bulbs, for example. Even though there are two of them, um, actually each one has an individual starter, and that's different from the previous one because there are two single fluorescent bulbs instead of two bulbs wired in series. So pay attention to that when you need to replace the fluorescent light starter. And this is the most common cause of the fluorescent light not being able to power on because the starter goes bad and it has several years of uh, lifespan uh, depending on usage because inside of this glass vac vacuum uh, there are argon gas and when electric electrical current runs through it it um, makes the uh, the two pieces of metal make contact and uh, so there it is very simple device but essential for your um, daily fluorescent light usage And whenever you're unable to turn on your fluorescent light, first thing to check and to change is the starter. Usually the starter lasts much shorter than the bulbs themselves. So always check the starter and always make sure you have the right starter. Always know if you have the single starter or the series starter. So I hope that will save you some trouble in the future.